All right, guys, welcome back to the Yuan Shao playthrough. So, before I get started, uh, let me say we'll have another upload on Friday, as usual. We'll have a Yuan Shao next video will be on Friday, and then Saturday I'll have the Liu Kong playthrough. That's going to be a live stream. So I usually stream that at Saturday around eight o'clock Central Time. So that'll be continuing. Uh, so with that said, this file, man, okay, so we have 200,000, and I was just thinking about it as I loaded it up. I'm like, you know what? We're at Guandu numbers. Yuan Chao is back to Guandu numbers. This is about what he had after, when he had to all of Hebei. And what are we at? The year 206. So six, five years to rebuild and come back from this what if loss where we started in runan and then slowly built up our power base and we're looking pretty good now i just spent this turn handing out let me show you distributing all of the not even all of the items honestly most of the items let's say i still have quite a bit look at that i still have 16 items i have to figure out but Basically what I tried to do is just apply a retreat, a big old retreat blanket on all of my officers along with life extension to my uh, two generals, Yang Liang and Wen Chao. So Yang Liang's got a horse to retreat and he's got life extension. Uh, Wen Chao, same thing, uh, I mean amount I guess I should say. Uh, even Ma Chao, I gave him Firestar. Which is pretty appropriate, I think. And a little weapon just to beef up its attack a bit. Jiling's always had those two. I think I gave Gua Hai a hex mark. Gua Hai is one of my... F I think he's one of my favorite generals, although I rarely get to use him. If ever. I used to use him a lot back in the day in Romance uh, 9 and 11. Because he shows up in the Northern Territories... There was always a spot where you could always get him. This is before I used to start scrambling officers, though. So we're talking at least a decade ago at this point. Um, so yeah, we got a big retreat. Retreat protection. Now what I'm thinking of doing is I think we're just going to strike at Liu Bei. And I'm actually going to see if I can bury the hatchet with Cao Cao. I don't know if that's possible but we've been slowly releasing prisoners to try to improve relations so again I don't know if that's gonna work so we're gonna try a combination of goodwill and uh, and releasing his guys see if we can get an alliance to deal with South Cao and we'll deal with Liu Bei and maybe we can have sort of a sort of a reverse Guandu situation you know if I'm able to defeat Liu Bei then maybe I'll have to face Cao Cao after he conquers Gong Zhong uh, Shu. Could be kind of cool. But I get, again, we'll, we'll see. Charisma went up, that's weird. So I've got the Ma family stationed in Su Chang. They're gonna strike out towards Liu Bei. And then the idea is that here I'm gonna create a second force. I'm thinking Guo Hai is gonna lead it along with my with uh, Huang Xi. And I'm thinking of wedding Huang Xi to um my child's fictional sister. I can't remember her name right now. Ma Yun Lu. So I'm going to put together a little backup, like a secondary force. The main force, though, is going to be striking out of the capital. That's going to be most of the Ma family. I actually need to get Han Sui over there. Now, if I'm being honest with you, I, prob I expect that force to probably be wiped out because we're going to be heading up against Lu Bu, Lu Bu, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei might still be here. Who's wounded? That's strange. I wonder if that's age catching up with him. Oh, 
Ubu might be, not be too long for this world. Alright, well... Interesting, okay. So... Would certainly help us. We still have about five months left with Liu Bei, so we're gonna go well past 207. So Lubu might pass away by then. We're gonna build some stuff on the shoreline here against South Sao. I don't like I like I said. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really rebuild our uh, the friendship there with him. Well, I guess so. Okay. Fengji's been consistently suggesting let's just release prisoners and I've been taking them up on it so interesting the idea with this scenario um, the implication is that because Yuan Shao lost to Gong Zun Zan he had nowhere to go so he starts in his home city of Runan and the only person you're friendly with is Cao Cao's force who has the center so I like the idea of uh, the roleplay idea of since Yuan Xiao was helped out by Cao Cao and given refuge, sort of like Cao Cao gave Liu Bei refuge at one point, right? So we're gonna bury the hatchet and give him refuge. We're gonna let him exist for a little while longer, <laughs> while using him to uh, deal with Kong Zun Shu. The same way Cao Cao gave Liu Bei refuge while simultaneously using him as an ally against Lubu and the Lubu campaign, right? So that's the that's the role play we're going for. And I don't know if it's going to work. We st we'd still have to get a deal done with him. It'd be nice if we can so that we can deal with Liu Bei. Especially because I have a feeling that I could end up I could end up in a... with a coalition formed against me. If I don't get a deal done with Cao Cao, I feel like I'm probably gonna have Wu and Xu and then Gong Zun Xu up top form a coalition against me at this point. I don't see why not, right? That is a lot of people. I could just attack him at this point. Wipe him out, but... Fine, we can have some fun just defending. Who's over here? Oh, Wang Xi's back. Oh no, he's returning. He's not back yet. Ooh. We've got Hatsui. Wang Xi will be back soon. Let's see. Do we have anybody in owl formation? Exactly one person. Hmm. I have to give him a title. Um. Let's see. Both in fish formation. Well, like I said, I could attack Han Zong, but if I eliminate Han Zong, I'm going to be next to Liu Zhang and Liu Zhang's got a hundred K he decides to go to war yikes so let's see how do we handle this I think I need somebody to just run with the title. Alright, I guess I'll give that guy a title. We'll give, uh, what was it? Chen Yin? We'll give Chen Yin a title. There he is. Since he has all formation, and then he can run all the way across. He's a recruiter. Of course he is. Still not a lot, but we should be able to defend. Um, 
Okay, let's put him as an overseer somewhere. Even with Ma Tang's uh, forces uh, assimilated into our own, we still don't have too many officers. You know, 77 sounds like a lot, but when you have all the big cities on the map, when you have the central plains, you know, Luoyang, Chang'an, Suchang, all these massive cities that are capitals, it's just... You need so many more officers if you actually want to develop these uh, cores. We could probably move out and build something. Let's see. Uh, snake. Let's see, you could probably get out of here. Build some traps or something. Can we build an arrow tower around the edges here? We can. We can put one here, one there. Maybe put a pitfall or something up here. Let's make sure we're on Kuyang's good side. We're friendly. Let's get the trusted. I don't think we need to waste Maliang on that. All right. So yeah, two hundred K, although it doesn't look like it because we're not as concentrated. When South Cao's I mean South Cao, Yuan Chao's starting point and Hei Bay up here is a lot more concentrated. He basically just has two cities here. To defend we're kind of spread out a lot more so it looks more it looks like we're more uh, scattered and I guess we are to some degree the one thing I'm curious about is how much longer is Yuan Shao, Wen Shao, Yang Liang, how much longer are these guys gonna live? You know? I'm kind of curious. Oh, here comes South Sada. Oh, not for us. Okay, great. Oh, he took his wife with him to war. I guess the couple that wars together stays together. Legion. The cooldown period between tactics is shortened. Whoa. I wonder what percentage that is. That's crazy. Even like a 10% cooldown reduction is going to be significant. Very significant. Okay, so we can go ahead and send out Yuan Xi again. The only thing is that I did want to keep... I did want to use him. Maybe we can switch it up, send our other... Send Yuan Shang out for a little while. Now the Yuan brothers both, the last two Yuan brothers, they both lived to 207, three, three visits. So, I feel like if their historical death is 207, then they'll probably live at least five years after that. So I don't have to worry about life extension. Oh, okay, this is... What? Were they going for Chang'an? Interesting. I 
I'm really tempted to just attack Hanzong, but that's going to cause me to negotiate you know, with Liu Zhang, and I don't really want to. Alright, I guess I'm going to need you to run up there. All right, or we could transfer from here, but... Uh, Alright. Just do that. Let's see, let's transport 9,000 to 11. Could be a good opportunity to use Huangxi. Let's see, speaking of that, let's mediate the uh, wedding. Now, you want to see, I know he has Goose and Tower. I don't remember what else, but I know he has that. So... Ooh, you know what? I don't know if my Yun Lo has one year of... Two years of service yet. She might not be... Not enough years of service. Okay, I gotta wait. Alright, let's give it three turns. Decision time. Is he gonna go right or left? I should have paid attention to my advisor. That's fine. I'll send him left. This way we'll have troops on, on both ends. Look at all those supplies. That's crazy. Alright, let's see. So, Cao Cao. Are we gonna release more people? Yep. Okay, let's send them some cash. I would be suited for this task. We'll see. So yeah, if we can get that deal done... Then we'll definitely just strike Liu Bei as soon as the alliance expires. If we can't... Then we'll take the much, much safer route. Just eliminate Cao Cao. I mean, the most efficient play, uh, obviously, is just to take out Cao Cao and add 50-something officers to your force, but... I'm not really interested in doing that. I, I don't really want to play as... A South South force that just happens to look like a Yuan Chao force. <laughs> you know? Oh, there goes Liu Bei. Now, 207 is right around the corner, so Lu Bu could die on this march. I've seen it happen. Oh, we're friendly again. Wow. That would be pretty brutal, just to lose that 10k. And that's when we attack. Alright, let's get the other one up so we don't have to... Okay. That's fine. I mean, it's, it's not, but it's fine. Transport's already almost there. I forgot that Zhang Yang was still in this game. I thought it was all Gong Zun Shu for some reason. I always forget about this territory in this game. I don't know why. It's just... An event. Friendship with Queen Anne. What does this do? Nah. Sen Shi. Where is Huang Xi's wife? It's kind of weird. Oh, wait a minute. He might not be able to get married. Is he not married to Zhang Shi? Wait a minute. Okay, where is he? Historically, he was. I don't know if the game counts it as that or if Zhang Shi is considered uh, Sao Pi's wife. 
She's a confidant, but she is not a spouse. Wow, that's harsh. That is harsh, man. Trade. We still have to solve this trade problem. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll send uh, Shang and some other people. So he can get some leadership bonuses. See, I've been sending C this whole time. His leadership's jumped up, I think, from a 60... It's either 62 to begin with or 68. So, it's pretty decent now. 73? 73's not bad. You know, you give him a, a title, a decent item, you can get him up to the 80s, no problem. The only thing is... So he has a special envoy. That's why why he's been dealing with that stuff. You know, let's just wait to see if uh, we can get the marriage done with Ma Yun Lo. If not, we'll have Yuan Si spend another year just being an envoy. You know, he'll prove he can keep proving his worth as a special envoy. I guess that's that'll be his way of courting her, right? That's how he's gonna seal the deal. Look at all this paperwork I filled out. Look at all these special envoys. Although I guess if you're if you're traveling to Rome, Parthia, that's I guess that kind of implies a certain kind of toughness, does it not? Far dangerous back then. Even taking the Silk Road. I feel like Yuan Chao would not let his uh, favorite son, Yuan Chen, go out there, leave the country to deal with foreign legions. He'd probably send his other two boys, but not his favorite. Alright, we got one more turn. Whoa, this is Xu versus Wu Part 2. You guys saw the first part. If you guys, uh, I think it was Part 3 of the playthrough, it's fairly early. Fairly early, Liu Bei uh, and uh, Sun Quan clashed, and Liu Bei mopped the floor with him, mostly because of Lu Bu's forces. It was just too much. I wish Liu Biao would do something. I wonder if we can request him to attack. Let's see. Let us see. We can. All right, let's do it. Whatever, man. Whatever it takes. Let's Ooh. just get Liu Biao to actually do something here. Jun Quan did lose the city to the Outlanders, to the Shan Yu, more specifically. And Sheik Xie could have taken the city, but for some reason, this AI is bugged because it's doing the same thing to me on another playthrough. He's taking this weird route around to get to the city instead of the most uh, straightforward path. I don't understand. It. Oh, there's Sun Shi speaking of. Yong Xi's wife. Let's see if she's supposed to be. So is she Sao P's spouse? Oh, she's not even Sao P's uh, spouse. She ain't nobody's spouse. Alright. I don't really have a fighter here. That's the only thing. They don't, but they do have Madai. Alright, let's see. Hansui over there. Let's call this guy back over. Let's just wait till 207. Did we send another gift to South South before I end the turn here? Release another person. Ooh, 
we did not. Okay. Jack Su definitely has a solid affinity. Okay. Let's watch this battle play out. Two, three thousand towers. That's... Maneuver is nine. Maneuver is ten. That's ridiculous, man. So incredibly low. Oh, he sent me his... Okay. Great. Just need to get the alliance done. I think the fact that he's on a boat is actually helping him. I think. Approaching Chang'an in full force. Okay. Okay, it's January. Boo Boo survived. Yeah, while he's busy doing that, we can take this. And then just keep going. And let's get somebody else to recruit so we can deploy Hansui out there. He's moving. He's training. Let's just move the trainer. Oh, but he's deployed. Alright, Hansui. I think fish formation would be best. Trader killer maneuvers increased and assault is increased. Let's see, a dash. Okay. Ooh, provocative. I like that. Let's actually go double. Let's double up on the chance. So we're either doing our traitor killer or we're just inflicting disorder. Okay, so let's see if we can do the mediate. Insufficient gold? Come on. Hmm. Call you on Chow over here. Call him over. Trying to see if we can get this wedding done or not. Two poor to throw a wedding. Not the esteemed Yuan family. He's sending everybody. I really hope Liu Biao attacks. That would put some pressure. He's throwing everybody at him. Holy moly. Liu Bei's not even committed that committed yet. Alright, we gotta hold off on the trade. New officers appear. I wonder who. Who could it be? Oh, Yongxi's going to find them already. Fu Tong, is that the good one? It is. Oh, his biography hasn't changed at all. The one who shouted will never submit. Coughed up blood and died. His war's taken a hit. His, uh, his war. <laughs> his strength. Told you guys, I've been playing this for a long time. His strength used to be 80s. It's only a 72, but.
Hmm, I don't know that guy. We shall dispatch the soldiers. Great. Now we don't have to deploy, do we? I'm assuming he'll just attack anyway. Oof, 300 a pop. Jen Wu is no slouch, but... You know, none of the, these three Wu officers are, but if you look... Liu Bei's got some S tier guys, so... You've got some B tier, maybe A tier, against definitive S tiers. So, I don't expect them to do much, if anything. Maybe the, the second wave looks a lot more promising right here. Taishi Tsi, Lu Meng, Su Xu. Alright, we got the alliance done. Awesome. So we'll leave the north to south south. So it's a weird thing to say. We'll leave the north to south south and we'll strike against Liu Bei for control of the uh, central plains for the rest of Zhang Yuan. Wow, everybody. I do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing. I mean, he's got Lu Bu out there. For goodness sake. The only thing going well in Liu Bei's favor is that uh, Lu Bu is still wounded, I believe. Yeah, he's got a pretty big penalty right now. 77 leadership, 89 strength. Even a sickly Lu Bu, though, is better than most of these Wu officers on the front lines. Wow, that's crazy. Alright, so hopefully Liu Biao attacks. I don't know if he's going to attack now, but... As long as he does it at some point. Let's go... Let's try to catch that guy. I don't know why you want to go this way. Get too close to him. Go like that. Go straight across. Let's see. And that way we might catch him on the flat, so he doesn't have that bonus. So he's gonna need help though. Or we could just try to cut off the uh, supply line, I guess. Hmm, we don't have anybody who has snake here, that's... Winning gonna happen, yes or no? We're gonna put it off another year. Oh, it's gonna happen, alright. Put that Senji out of your mind. I have a real warrior wife. She's definitely gonna lead to. He's going to have her back. Alright, congratulations. Let's celebrate by putting them to the test. Let's see, Ma Yunlo. We could give them items to get their stats up a little bit. We'll deploy them from there. You know what, let's have Hansui fall back a bit. Let's wait for help to get there. Well, if there's ever a time to uh, attack Liu Bei, huh? We could break the alliance, I guess, at this point. How many months do we have left? We have three months left. Hmm. I kind of want to wait and to see if Liu Bei empties out these uh, troops here. 
Once they leave to attack Sun Quayan, I'm assuming to attack uh, Jianye across the ocean, I think that's when we'll strike. We need to send out somebody else to roam, I guess, another delegate. So not Yuan Shang, I take it. At this point. I like that there's an actual animation for the boat sinking. Nice touch. Wish we had more of those. Maybe some horsemen out here? Maybe some bowmen out here? Let's beat it up a little bit. Oh boy. What does he have? I wonder if he'll give us the mount. Wow, he gave us the mount. Awesome. Protect somebody else from being captured. A glint of talent around Chang'an. Interesting. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I might have this wrong. I, I don't. He might not attack unless I attack. We'll have to wait and see. One thing's for sure: this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh man, what were you, what were they thinking when they? Jeez. Ah, oh wow, they're coming after him. Just fall back to the arrow tower. Fight under the tower. Okay, let's see. How much do we have? 50k here. I don't think I can use any more Outlander deployments, though. It's for... I think it's like a year and a half before we can trigger the event again, so... Call me back over there. So from here we can have Guohai, Yu Jin, Li Jian, Leng Bao. This is a pretty solid force to strike out. These four right here. Li Yan might actually deploy a tower. Or Goose. You can have him and Leng Bao go Goose. Guohai, Yu Jin leading the front. Search. Chang on, right? Trade. Okay, so let's see. Let's send. Uh... Oh, we have two opportunities. Let's send Yuan Shang with one group. So these three. Friendship is almost maxed out with them. So let's just throw everything at them. Treasure. Okay, and then with Rome, let's see. What do we have that we could try to get their stats up just enough to where they could be a bit relevant later on? Gao Gan is a cousin of the Yuans. Yeah, I guess we can send him. I don't know, let's just do him and some March leader guys. Getting getting lost in the weeds here. Yeah, 
There we go. An iron hammer. We give to you a big hammer. Use it well. What happened to the prisoners? Are they still prisoners? Do we still have South South prisoners or are they released? We still have them. Interesting. I didn't even get a note, a footnote or anything, so... That figures. Stone soldier? Huh. I can't say that I've used stone soldier at all. I guess we can try to add these guys while we're sort of passively waiting. Waiting for Liu Bei to really commit to the war with Wu. Zhang Liao is just holding back the tidal wave, the red wave. He is holding it. Oh, a boat. Horrible decision. Because he's trying to get around the fire. South Sea broke out. Wow. What does that say about our jailers? Alright, there goes Liu Bei. We'll let him get out to the ocean, maybe even make landfall, and then we'll walk back on our teal. South South's AI should start making some inroads against Kong Zun Shu. I kind of expect him to just completely conquer him. Mostly because his AI is just ridiculous. Okay, so Yuanxi is here. Got a little nervous. I thought we were out of uh, running out of food. All right, let's give him the horse. It's pretty apt, actually. Yuanxi is going to be taking over the force, and it's called the Gu Gogu Ryo Prince. So the prince has his horse already. Okay, what else do we do? What else can we give them? I should say. Let's give them this. We can do the same for Ma Yun Lu. The strategies of Wei. Let's see, what's your war? 73 maybe? Could give her some weapons. Could give both of them a weapon, I guess. One point doesn't really do anything.
I feel like most of these could have used a buff. Maybe weapons could start at plus three. Start at plus three and then get up to uh, make the Sword of Sovereign like plus twelve maybe. And then make above average weapons plus four, eh, plus five. Why not? Since they're gonna hide, um, oh I think I gave her two in, in a row. Since they're gonna hide the XP in this game, they make it more difficult to properly develop officers. Yeah, I did. Okay, well, she's got two weapons. She's carrying his weapon for him. It's fine. She's doing it all. You want to see he's basically cheering from the back. Alright, so he's cure tower. So he needs volley. We don't have volley. Hmm. Disorder. Yeah, he's intelligence based anyway. Alright, as for her, let's see what she has. Wow, apparently I must have given her a ton of tactics at some point. What's Dauntless do? You cannot be inflicted by restraint. Yeah, that's nice. She's still very, she's gonna be very mismatched against uh, Madai though. The idea of using rally. Instead of charge. Alright, that seems good. I don't know when we're gonna run into him. Let's try to get to May. Before my die. Okay. That took a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know, at this point we're in the driver's seat, so we might as well have fun with it. Looks like each each kingdom here is going to take a shot at each other's territory. Oh, Zhang Ji, another great officer. I love getting these real flexible, like toolbox, toolboxy officers that just have a ton of balanced traits, formations, tactics, stats. You know. Oh, they put up a camp, okay. Let's creep up a little bit. It's got dash, so I think Hansu is going to catch him. Ma died, I think, is the only Ma family member that got away. But I was not able to actually recruit. Banquet. Must have taken a penalty. Loyalty. Loyalty penalty. Well, you base moving to eliminate South Sao. I say go for it.
It hasn't worked before, I don't think it'll work now, but... I wonder if we'll take a relation hit as we recruit these guys. Okay. Do a search. Nobody's clashing with anybody, right? Oh, none of them. He's not reckless, right? No. Oof. Two hundred damage. <laughs> Woo! What a hit. Alright, let's eliminate him and then go. Let's actually, let's retake our thing after that. I don't know what's going on here. I guess they're clashing with each other somewhat. Can get a tower up on this corner here. Let's do that. Gongs and Shu doing up here. Zhao Yun's fighting. Ooh, he's gonna scatter them both. Easily, I think. Do anything to help. Decreases morale, that's about it. That's all the help we can offer. Ding Fang, why is he here? That's weird. I thought Ding Feng is a Wu officer a lot sooner than this. For some reason, he's a, just turned up. Okay, let's do a... Where's the recommendation here? Xin Ye. See if the base gonna bother deploying here. Nope. Let's watch our Oh good news for both, great. Ooh, okay, now that was some damage. She's packing some power, one thousand. Doing the heavy lifting while Yuan Xi kind of cheers on from the back, providing the support. Oh, we got Ding Feng. Awesome.
Kong Zun Shu and Liu Bei have formed an alliance. Great. Maybe we can capture him. That'd be great. Bring him over to our side. Alright, you gotta give it to Zhang Lu's AI, at least it attacks. It's more than I can say for fo some of these other forces that are completely stacked. And they just refuse to move or do anything. Okay. Alright guys, well, that's gonna do it for this one. Wow, it's only gonna get crazier on the next one. So Wu and Xu are gonna trade blows. We'll see who comes out on top there. I think it's gonna be me though. <laughs> How many more months do we have left? One month left. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Yuan Chao coming out on top there. Maybe Liu Bei can take out Cao Cao. I doubt it, but who knows, right? And uh, yeah, we're gonna re re redeploy Yuan Xi, and uh, we're gonna redeploy the newlyweds here, and they'll be participating on the Salt Town Liu Bei's territory over here. I uh, should have that video up on Friday, so look forward to that, and uh, we'll be doing the live stream on Saturday. That'll be the Liu Kong uh, playthrough, which we've basically got all of this united under Liu Biao's forces. And we're about to face off against Wei in the north. You know, it's the 207 three visits. So that should be interesting, since I have there's nothing left to do in that one but just crash into South Cao's army and try to break through. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then.